It's the morning of September 6th. Whitney Austin running late for work at Fifth Third's headquarters in Cincinnati. She's on a conference call as she walks toward the revolving door, but never makes it inside. Probably inches before the bullets hit me and it felt like a burning sensation. Just moments before, 29-year-old Omar Perez had stormed into the lobby of the bank. Armed with a handgun, Whitney is struck and falls to the ground. I immediately started to cough up blood. And that's, that's where my brain, that's when my brain immediately went toward, I'm dying. Police body camera video showing a terrifying scene as officers respond. I got him covered, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Whitney realizing she's trapped. I immediately thought, I want to say goodbye to my family. And I knew I couldn't say goodbye to the kids because they were at school. I assumed he saw me move and he shot me several more times. Shot 12 times, but still has the presence of mind to play dead until she spots a policeman. I'm shouting at him. I have a five and a seven year old who need their mother. You need to save me. Come get me. At that point, they were tracking him. They then shoot him down. This photo capturing the moment she's safe. Police calling her husband. He said, you know, she's been she's been involved in a um, an act of shooting. Um, she's been hit uh, multiple times in her chest and I was just, you know, reeling. I mean, I, uh, I couldn't put anything together. Whitney spent five days in the hospital, but four people died that day, including the shooter. She's since started a nonprofit called Whitney Strong to help reduce gun violence through responsible gun ownership. This is about making sure that our kids can go to school and they don't have to participate in active shooter drills on a monthly basis. This is so people like me can walk into their place of employment and not get shot 12 times.